so hi everyone today we will be discussing about a new time series forecasting model that is ts mamba which is based on the mamba framework hence now this time generative ai techniques are now getting into time series as well so this is very exciting so it is a recently released paper the model has not been released yet yet for use but the paper promises a lot of things and the results are just outstanding so in this particular blog post we will try to understand how ts mamba works and the basics around it so let's get started so first of all before we jump on to ts mamba we must need to understand what is mamba so from last year there is an architecture that you might be hearing that is mamba architecture which is more efficient than the transformers that are getting used in llms and now some of the llms are based on the mamba mamba architecture as well so they are based on the idea of selective state space models that we will be discussing in brief and then i will be launching an entirely new series on mamba because this is a little complicated uh, concept so how mamba differs from transformer so i think before starting off mamba can be taken as a alternate for transformers that are used in llms hence people are now exploring mamba because it is more efficient so now understanding that state space versus attention mechanism transformers rely on self attention i think the concept of attention gets used in transformer to understand each and every token now if you have read in depth where each token in the input sequence can look at every other token so uh, if there are 10 words every word is now uh, every word is can see the other nine words now this is great for uh, co comprising all the information but computationally it is very very difficult because now this is goes to quadratic time complexity basically if you have 10 words then you are raising 10 raised to power 2 matrix now if this goes to 1 billion words this is just not computationally uh, easy to do now talking about mamba how mamba does this efficiently it uses a concept called as selective state space models hence they are using context dependent matrix which allows the model to selectively focus on some parts not all so if it there are 10 words in the sentence where transformer each every word every word would be focusing on all the other nine this won't be the case with mamba every word would be focusing on say 3 or 4 just giving an example hence saving on complexity for you talking about efficiency and effectiveness obviously yes when you are capturing more information you are more effective as said transformers but they are inefficient because as you can read here they need to store vast amount of information but this is not the case with mamba they are not as effective see the hit on the accuracy is less but now the gains in terms of complexity are huge they introduces a selective mechanism that allows it to forget less relevant information this make it more efficient and they also come with parallelization training using convolutional representation and it can switch between recurrent and convolutional models so this is these are some advantages of mamba people are still exploring the mamba architecture and how transformers can get replaced by mamba because uh, going with transformer as you might be hearing you need to have huge gpus you need to have a lot of ram to run these models because now they have huge weights that are coming into the picture and they are not scalable enough to deployment also hence mamba is a good alternate now coming back to ts mamba what we started off so ts mamba as now you might have understood is based on the idea of mamba architecture T mamba architecture ensures linear com computational complexity hence more efficient it uses bidirectional encoders for temporal dependency so basically in time series if you are starting from date 1 to date 31 of a month for example so eventually in bidirectional encoder would look from 1 to 31 and the other the back encoder would be looking from 31 to 1 so we will be seeing in that in the architecture diagram coming in it involves two stage transfer learning one is a pre training patch wise auto regressive reduction so if you don't know what is auto regressive auto regressive basically means you are using the past points to predict the next point so in tra in case of time series what happens uh, if you are predicting for first of feb you might be using the past 30 days of data that is auto regressive sort of and just explaining in a very layman's term the second stage is fine tune 
we won't be deep diving into much of the complex terms because it is just an overview around TS Mamba, else things would become very, very complicated. Uh, not talking about the next point, the key feature of TS Mama that is channel wise compressed attention. So if you have worked a time series, most of the time series are multivariate. That means you have multiple variables which interact with each other and you want to forecast just one element in the end of the day. Right. So that is called as a multivariate time series data set. TS Mamba uses channel wise compressed attention model. Hence, it is able to capture the interaction between these variables as well. Right. So this is a little complicated concept. I will be covering it separately. Uh, going to the fifth one, low data dependency. TS Mamba uses pre-trained Mamba LLMs, large language models. Hence, they don't require a lot of data. You might be hearing of zero shot and few shot learning. I think this is where TS Mamba is changing the game. Now you don't require much data or it might be the case, no nothing for forecasting of time series as well. Not talking about the architecture, here is a little complicated architecture as you can see. We'll try to break it down in layman's term in very short because if we go to explain everything, it becomes very, very difficult. So first is the input embedding. I think you might have understood the entire data is uh, represented as an embedding. Bidirectional encoder, forward encoder and backward encoder. As I already told you, 1 to 31st date and 31st one. Here is the forward encoder. Here is the backward encoder. So they are looking at the time series data from both the ends. Now, what happens? Each encoder has Mamba blocks with root mean square. So Mamba blocks, as I already told you, we, as we just had a brief discussion, these are state selective models. Then there is a temporal alignment and flipping for the backward encoder because it is looking from backside, right? So you need to realign it. And then both the output from forward and backward encoder are now fed to a prediction head. Outputs coming from both are now combined and the final prediction is made. Talking about the key points, linear complexity, the use of SSMs and selective processing enables linear time complexity, which is quadratic in case of transformers. Bidirectional context by using both forward and backward encoder, TS Mamba captures dependencies from both directions, better predictions and scalability. Now comparing it with the existing time series models, ARIMA, you might have heard of ARIMA, SARIMA, Transformers, LSTMs. It is more efficient any day because linear time complexity is coming in. Reduce data requirements as it is using LLMs in the background. Eventually you can go with zero shot learning as well for time series. So it is a major breakthrough. Versatility, the inclusion of bi-directional encoders and channel wise attention ensures TS Mamba can generalize over univariate and multivariate time series. So if you haven't worked with time series, you have different set of models for multivariate and univariate. That is not the case with TS Mamba. Performance depend if you're using zero shot settings, that means you're not giving any data. It is giving more or less decent results. And in full shot, it has outperformed existing models. So be very, very uh, curious about TS Mamba. The model hasn't been released yet, but the paper has been released. You can read about it in more detail. This is just a basic overview for so that you can go and explore a little bit about TS Mamba. The model looks great and I think it would be revolutionary once it comes out uh, for the common folks. By the time, let's wait and try exploring the Mamba architecture. It is coming up quite well. I have been seeing some LMs also now on Hugging Face, which you can explore. That the inferencing would be way faster. The training would be way faster. Hence, I think TS Mama would be a major breakthrough in time series. Thank you so much.